from my heart and from my hand Why don't people understand my intention? Good morning, welcome back to the channel. So we've got a couple of loose small jobs to do on the white Mini Cooper that's owned by my son. Um, he managed to save around about 1500 euros to do some modifications to the car. So we're gonna be doing that this weekend. Um, the first thing that we need to address though is the fact that uh, he is almost one meters 90. So trying to fit him inside a Mini is a bit of a squeeze based on the OEM spec. So we're gonna make some changes to the seat rails seat belt and also uh, the steering wheel so that it can fit in better so uh, yeah let's uh, let's crack on i'm going to be changing the seat rails giving a little bit more space uh, for the steering to make sure we get the steering in the right position once the seat has gone back in place and also a modification on uh, the correct positioning for the seat belt so the extenders that we've gone for are full extenders, which also require pot riveting on the back. We're also going to change the steering wheel position. Now you've got a couple of choices. You can use a deep dish wheel like this one, or you can actually attach an additional hub with a quick release and basically move your position a little bit further out doing this. Now in this particular case, we're actually going to go for a flat bottom steering wheel as well just make it a little bit easier on his knees and a quick release uh, basically to help security so the car can't be stolen quite frankly so the longer seat rails are in now you can see the difference that you get this is the original OEM one and this is the longer ones you can see this in the dark here you can see that it adds at least 50 centimeters over the original OEM ones, which ends up giving you quite quite some room, especially if you put a flat bottom steering wheel on and a cut release hub because it moves the steering wheel out. So that's one job done. Now time to take a look at the exhaust. So you can see on this one, it looks like someone just threw on a cheap exhaust to get it through its MOT or its test. APK. Interestingly enough, even though this is a 1991 model, it does have a cat in it. So we're probably going to do a cat delete on this particular one because, you know, it's for a teenager, so he wants a little bit of noise from his exhaust. So we're going to put an RC40 exhaust on it. So for the exhaust, we're going for a slightly larger bore, as you can see, and a cat delete pipe. Probably just gonna have to modify a little bit to fit it on, but uh, I think this will do the job quite nicely and give him a little bit more noise to enjoy. So there we go, exhaust fitted. The sound of your teenage years bubbling away in the background. Rev it. Of course, being a teenager, he also wants to go for a wider stance on the car. So we're going to change out his standard Cooper wheels, which are 12 by fives. And we're going to switch to 12 times six, which means we're also going to need to change the standard OEM arches. This is normally the arches that was on that model. But a couple of choices, actually, because we've got group twos. We've got group four and actually I do have a set of sports bike ones as well but I think for this particular tyre with it being a 612 I think probably the group fours are plenty wide enough for that particular wheel so uh, yeah let's crack on and uh, get these wheels and arches changed. Yeah, so if I just bring you around now and show you the difference, we've done the rear end with the new arches on, as you can see, it's really good with the uh, 12 times sixes on, not too wide, but wide enough to give it a different stance. So now we need to crack on and uh, change the front end, shaping up quite nicely. 
Uh, something that I would want to show you is that the front end is a little bit more involving as you can see this line here is where I have to cut the bottom of the front end to allow enough turning circle for the wider tires it's a small modification um, and won't spoil the car too much uh, but yeah this is the price you pay if you want to go for a wider kit so unfortunately we're not going to be able to finish the front end on this occasion I managed to break the last of my cutting discs and it's a Sunday and there's no DIY stores open so we'll have to come back to that uh, what I am going to do now though is I'm going to change the uh, fuse box because we're getting some intermittent contacts for things like the washers and these Lucas boxes tend to uh, corrode so we're going to pop a new one of those in and see if that actually solves the problem one of the other things I wanted to share with you was that uh, although we're not going to do any work on cleaning up the engine right now um, something that I found very effective in getting the first layer of grime off these engines is actually oven cleaner or barbecue cleaner if you just warm up the engine and spray foam it it tends to remove a lot of the uh, grime and dirt so anyway let's crack on with sorting out this fuse box so that's it uh, for this weekend uh, we didn't video all the practical elements of actually physically fitting the, each of the components because there are plenty of videos on YouTube that show you that what I did want to show you was that you can actually make quite a significant change on a weekend uh, with a relatively low budget to how your Mini actually looks. The most important thing for us was to practically fit him into the car because as I mentioned at the beginning he was a tall lad so we've actually moved the seat back at least 50 centimeters fitting the new steering wheel with the additional hub has moved the steering wheel out as well. We've also fitted a short throw shifter and that's really changed the uh, the seating position and improved his comfort fitted new seat belts and what we're going to do is we're going to let him drive this as it is at the moment because you can actually put extenders on here to move the seat belt back to make sure it, the inertia wheel is working properly as well and we also fitted we replaced the original dashboard which was walnut with this nice uh, carbon fiber one as well as well as one or two things that we've addressed under the hub the rear wheels and archers so uh, just a couple of more things to change next weekend and this little project will be finished anyway uh, thank you very much for listening watching uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done that already and uh, stay safe and talk to you soon bye bye